Hey guys, it's Tony from White Lightning and Harley Davidson. Yes, you heard that right. White Lightning, Harley Davidson in beautiful downtown Chattanooga. Actually, it's exit 7 off 75. You want to come by and check out some of the new bikes? I got two bikes here that are brand new. And I wanted to show you some of the difference and some of the excitements between the beautiful 2023 Rogue Glide Special and the 2024 Rogue Glide. First, we're going to start with the 23 Rogue Glide, which has been one of the most popular bikes Harley Davidson has ever made in the most, most demanded paint scheme and finish scheme. And that's the vivid black with black trim. This particular bike, we really haven't added a whole lot to. One of the things about the bikes that we have on the floor, we try to put bikes out that have options on it that people would really like to have. Again, this came with the Milwaukee 8 114 as a standard equipment, married to the six-speed transmission. If you want horsepower and torque numbers, you can give me a call or make a comment below. Come on around, Eli. The 23, of course, had the easy open bags, which was part of the Rushmore package. People ask me what the Rushmore package is, and I will just say this. Mount Rushmore has four presidents on it. When the Rushmore package came out, there were four major changes on the bike. You can go over and do your history on what the changes were. I'm not going to get into detail. In the 23, you had the side fill gas cap. One of the big advantages of this, and I'll go over the 24 in a second, is when you put the bike on the side stand, you can actually get a full tank of gas. It's really a neat feature. One of the things a popular feature to add is people do a flush mount cap on this bike. So if you come around, we'll get the dashboard on here, Eli. By the way, my cameraman, Eli, he just came up from down in Georgia to be at the dealership as well. We'll be glad to help. So if you look, it's got some digital, some analog gauges. And then if you look, it has the GTS radio. Wonderful system, uh, audio, mufflers, bars are the most commonly changed things. One of the things to notice about the 23 Rogue Light is the bars. They have, they have what I feel is an awkward position to them. I think every Rogue Light that I've ever sold has had the bars changed on it because people want their hands straight across and that knuckles in the wind, as Harley calls it, instead of the pullback. So, has a USB hookup. You can have this radio flashed to where you can do Apple CarPlay. This is a wonderful bike. This has been the number one selling bike now for, I think, the past three years. This bike is stock. The only thing that's been added to this bike was they did away with the hill shifter and we put one on it because that is, that is a feature that almost all touring bike riders like to have. So if you come around to the front of this bike, I want to point out some things on here. The Rogue Light has LED headlights. You do have the incandescent bulbs in the front and the incandescent bulbs in the rear. I'm not gonna talk about the 23 anymore, but I do love this bike. I wanna tell you about some of the things that changed. Some of the, some of the rider features that are gonna make this bike more rideable to me. Okay, if you'll notice, we'll start in the front, Eli, at the big, at the big beautiful front fairing. Notice it's a little different, so your 23 model fairings won't fit on like the 14 and up fit on all the way to the 23s. Notice this big beautiful headlight, and it, and it seems to have something missing from the previous model bikes. Those bullet style turn signals. If you'll notice here on the front, this is an all LED bike. I know companies some companies that create that do specialize in LEDs are, are really scrambling to come up with some packages for this. And there are still a lot of products that are available to, to make this a more lit up bike. If you know me, you know I like my bikes really lit up. Eli, we'll come around now. We've changed the bike a little bit. If you notice, it has an ST style fender on it. The heavy breather snorkel and also has the short floorboards with the matching matching brake pedal and shifters and then the rear pegs. This is part of what's called the ST package. We also did some grips on it. 
part of this is called the ST package. If you're looking at a new bike and it's stuck, now you can see exactly what that ST package will look like on your new bike. And if you come down and see us here, we probably have one on the floor that's ready to go in the color you want. If not, we can get it ready quick. So come on over here, Eli. I'm gonna, the ST package also, we did the two up seat. Uh, the ST package only has a one up seat and then it has a little in the cell back here that you can't sit on. You can, I guess. I don't think I would. I wouldn't sit on the back anyways. Unless my buddy Ken Mays is driving. Ken, I hope you get to see this. So guys, throw a leg across here and I'm gonna show you a few things. When you stand this bike up, you're gonna notice immediately it's 18 pounds lighter. Everybody says 18 pounds ain't that much. 18 pounds is a lot when you're talking about one of these bikes. So if you come around and catch this, this display, I'm gonna put it on what I like. You can put it in a sport display mode or you can put it in what's called cruise and cruise gives you all the gauges that you had on that beautiful 23 model and it tells you a lot of different things in here again i'd love to go over this bike with you in person and tell you all the details it does have the rdrs system on it which is an amazing system you can do apple carplay on this however they have deemed that needs to have a wireless headset to make it a safe product to use. So you have to have a wireless headset for the Apple CarPlay to work, but it will play through your speakers. There are some aftermarket companies that are coming together right now that are trying to develop a module for that. That's down the road. This bike has different modes. It has a rain, sport, and say it out loud. It's like a highway road mode, basically like yes. your standard econ yes. mode. So in the rain mode, it's gonna cut down if your rear tire starts to spin, it's gonna reduce the torque to it and make it a little safer. As everybody knows, if you've taken an MSF class, one of the things they talk about the most dangerous time to ride a bike is right after a rain because the oil from the road comes up and you're gonna end up in a little bit of a spinning situation if you aren't careful. Uh, this bike also has a customizable ride mode. Again, we'll go into the details about it. One of the things you'll notice about this though as well is the handlebars. This is a stock handlebar, guys. This bar, there's no need to change this bar for me. I, I know a lot of people like the taller ones because they want to be, hey bro, look up my bars. Hey, this right here is the most rideable size there is to me. But the good thing about it, instead of having to take so many things apart on the 23 to adjust where the bars are, you got four torque, torque screws here, and you can adjust that yourself. There's no pins you have to bust or anything. One of the other features they have is if you're a 60s and 70s baby, you probably remember the uh, half-ton Chevrolet trucks that had the window wings, and you could open those up and run without, run without air conditioning, or you had the floor vents. These act the same way. You can open and close those off. Another really big feature that Rogue Glide riders, I'm an ultra limited rider, but Rogue Glide riders complained about is right here. Eli, you got your phone on you? Absolutely. So if you notice, though, it locks now. You don't have to worry about it bouncing open and your key falling out and you've not been able to do anything. Eli has obviously the latest of iPhones, and if you'll notice, that thing fits way down in there good without a problem. I also took a bottle of water and put in there and it will close with a bottle of water in it as well. Makes it up. If you notice also you have your USB here where you can plug your phone up. It does have navigation. It does have a subscription service for the navigation as most luxury cars and uh, domestic cars have now. There's some things going with the navigation cost and everything they're charging everybody for it now but if you if you do have a headset and you use apple carplay you can use your your maps on there center center fuel fuel cap this i'll tell you what i like and what i don't like i love this 
I just the only thing I don't like is the fact that I stand I, I have to stand my bike up straight to get it completely full. The one thing I do love though is right here. I take that fuel cap off the other bike and I gotta set it somewhere and then I gotta find my debit card and then you're going, oh God, I'm gonna drop it or I'm gonna scratch my beautiful paint. That's one thing you don't have to worry about here. So the controls for the audio have switched sides now. That takes some getting used to for those of us that have been riding for a while. Muscle memory says we're gonna turn it up over here. It's not the case, not the case on the 23. So, oh, if you got one of them beards, a Chris Stapleton, as I call it, First, if I can't get you to trim that thing down and be clean cut, I'm gonna tell you about the vents here. These also will help to keep that, that air from blowing up and blowing your beard up. Now, and keep in mind, if you're running 75, 80 miles an hour, I don't care if we have a gold wing bearing in the windshield, you're still gonna have your beard move around a little bit. It's one of the biggest complaints that I can hear with touring bikes. And that goes with any brand as well. So come on around to the back, Eli. The bags no longer are an extended bag, but have more capacity than the previous bags. Now, if you notice, you have the cutouts in the extended bag. This is more straight across, but the bag is a little wider. And this also on the rear here, LED headlight, LED tail lights. So. What that equates to, you're gonna save money over time by not having to change that 69 cent bulb in two years or, or however long it takes for you to wear it out. Uh, that's really just the highlights. You wanna come in and check one out, come in and ask for me, ask for Eli, ask for any of us here. We'll be glad to go over the features, get one out for you to ride. You can feel the difference between that 117, the 114, you can feel the difference in that weight. You can feel the difference in the way the redesign completely makes this an even more rideable bike. Um, there are options. There is not a limited in the new design yet, but there are options to create this in several, several different packages. One of those will be along the lines of a touring package, which you can do a tour pack, and you can do all the things that you'd have on your limited with any grips and everything else. Guys, again, it's Tony. White Lightning Harley Davidson. It's a beautiful day here. We'd love to see you come down and visit with us. Have a cup of coffee. Stop in if you're passing through. Give us about 30 minutes of your time to tell you about the difference. Give us about an hour and a half and we'll have you out of here on a new bike. We love riders. We love for riders to stop and just say they're passing through too. But if there's any questions you have, please leave a comment. You can reach me at 865 617 9463 any time of the day or evening. Keep in mind in the evening, there may be a little dinner and a cocktail involved, but just give me a call. I'll try to help you any way I can. And Eli, thanks again for having, holding the camera for me. We're gonna get these beauties back in before all this East Tennessee pollen gets laying on them, guys. We wanna be perfect. Thanks again and come down and see us. By the way, you can check our inventory out at www.whitelightninghd H dash D dash H D. Google White Lightning Harley Davidson. You can see our inventory on there, guys. I always screw up the web address. Thanks again, and as always, have a blessed day.